welcome to circle time. Let's check our schedule. We have our greetings, our calendar, our weather, our map, and our story. Check into your body. Do you have flat feet, flat bottoms, calm, safe bodies, quiet mouth with your eyes on the action? We'll start with our hello song. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We're glad you came today. Let's look at the mood meter. How are we feeling today? Are we in that wonderful, high energy, comfortable space of being happy and or surprised or silly? Are we, that's our yellow space. Are we in our uncomfortable but high energy space where in red, where we're angry or annoyed or confused? Are we in our low energy? green space where we're comfortable, where we're calm and relaxed? Or are we in our low energy and uncomfortable, feeling sick or feeling sad or sleepy or hurt? Check in with yourself. Tell someone around you, what color are you today? How late? So I'm up here in the yellow space today. I'm pretty happy today. We've got some exciting things we're gonna do. So let's look at our schedule. Our readings is all done. So now we're moving on to our calendar. So we know that it's still April because it's only the second week of April. So it's April, and it was Thursday, but now it's Friday. So now we're going to move from the 9th to the 10th. So we're going to have that arrow pointing right there to the 10th. And we will write that out. So we're going to write Friday F R. I D A Y. And we're going to write the month, which is April. A P R I L. And we're going to write the day. So it's 10, a 1 and a 0. And then we'll put in our comma and then the year 2020. Great work, everyone. So our calendar is all done. We're going to move on to our weather. Now, as I keep saying, we're all in different places. So the weather where you're at may be very different than the weather where I am. Today, our weather is very beautiful. It is sunny and it is warm. It's a great day to get out into the yard for us here in North Bend, Washington, because it is 64 degrees today. So we will write that up here for our weather. We're going to write sunny S U N. N Y, and we will write our temperature, as I said, 64 and a degree sign. That's that little O. And we'll write the warm right here. W A R M. As you can see, I already wrote our book name, our title of our book, and the name of the person who wrote it. You can't see the book today because it's kind of hidden because it's a smaller book, but we'll get there. So our weather is all done. Check in with your body. Do you have your flat feet, your flat bottom, calm, safe body, quiet mouth with your eyes on the action as we move on to our
Our math today will be the same as we've done all week, which are the pops with the apples. So I will pop the first one, and it's the number eight. So we're going to write our eight. Remember how we write it? It's an S, and then we close it. And we'll count out eight apples. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we'll pop the next one. That is the number nine. There's our nine. Let's count out nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I need one more. Nine. So we are going to count on. So we're starting with eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17. We'll write our 17 right here. The one in the tens place and the seven in the ones place. There we go. So let's say that math problem together. Eight plus nine equals 17. Great work, everyone. Let's start again. Clear out that board. That first number is a four. There's your four, and we'll count out four apples. One, two, three, and four. Great job. Next one, and that is the number two. So we'll write a two right here. And we'll put on two apples. Count them with me. One, two. So we're going to count on. So we started with four as our first number. Four, five, six. So we'll write our six right here. And we'll say that problem together. Four plus two equals six. Great work. Let's do the next one. That is the number ten. So let's count out 10. That is a very big number. We're going to first write 10. A 1 and a 0. That makes our 10. So let's count out those 10 apples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and a ten. Great work. That's a big number. Let's hush. see the next one. And that is an eight. Another good size number. So we'll write an eight by making our S and closing it. Let's count out our apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to count on. So we know we have 10 in that first group. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're going to write our 18 right here. And we'll say that problem together. 10 plus 8 equals 18. What a big number. We have one more problem to do and then we'll check our schedule. That is 
is the number four. So we'll write a four right there. Four apples, let's count them out. One, two, three, four. Four apples. Let's pop the next one. Oh, that is a 10. And another 10. So let's count out 10 apples. I know I'll need to hear up some more apples because that's not enough. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. We have our ten apples. So let's count on from four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So let's write that 14 right there. One and a four. So let's say that math problem together. Four plus 10 equals 14. Great work, everyone. We're gonna clean up our math board and check our schedule. While we're checking it, check into your body. Do you have your flat feet, your flat bottom, your calm, safe body, quiet mouth with eyes on the action? Great work. Math game is all done. Now we're moving on to our story. Our story today is The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Okay, so this story is a, what do we think it's about? Looking at that picture. The dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. She doesn't look very happy there. That is for sure. Vashti's teacher leaned over the paper, blank, blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Va very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. The teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can draw, I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot. She had drawn her, uh, drawn her dot, all framed with swirl gold. There's her signature right there. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot, 
the blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with bigger brush and bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At, at the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squ squiggles, and then she said, Please sign it. The end. So let's go on to our sentence that we can create about this story, what we know about this story. There's a little girl in the story. At the beginning of the story, she wasn't very happy. By the end, I think she was very happy, maybe even proud. So let's make our sentence, our noun today, our yellow word, our noun, is going to be girl, for me at least. Maybe you'll, you want to talk about the little boy at the end. So I'm going to write girl. And over here in our adjectives, our orange words, one word we could use is happy, one word we could use is proud. You can also say something about the way she looked. I'm going to use the word happy because that was my original thought was she was a happy girl at the end. And so our article can be the word a uh or the because of it starting with that H. So I'm going to use the word the here. The happy girl. Now we need to find our green word, our verb, her actions. She painted. We have a picture of someone painting right there. So she painted. P-A-I-N-T-E-D. There. She painted. The happy girl painted. Now that's a nice sentence, but we can add more to it, more about what she did. How did she paint? Did she paint towards the end? She painted very easily. So I'm going to write that up here. She painted easily. Towards the end, that's what she did. And where? What was she painting on? It said in the book she was painting on something. So our preposition, our purple space, is what was she doing it with? She was painting on some paper. Now this is not a question, it is a statement. So we're going to end it with our period right there. Great work everyone. We have a full sentence with lots of information about this little girl in this book. 
maybe you find something else that you want to write about or talk about. Have a wonderful Friday. I will see